Hi, my name is Byron Martin, and here at Logis Greenhouses today, we're going to be talking about plant containers. And so, a container is a vessel that contains the plant's root system and a potting media. So, one of the changes that happened in the 20th century was the addition of plastic to um, the container or the pot in horticulture. And plastic is, has many advantages over our previous clay pots in that it's lightweight and it comes in um, many different forms and shapes. These are some of the containers that we use here at um, Logies. The advantage to plastic, of course, is that it's uh, relatively inexpensive, it's lightweight, it doesn't um, degrade or break very quickly, although you can have that over time. Um, and there's plenty of drainage holes that have been manufactured into them. So that really is the container that dominates the industry. However, there are some issues with growing in plastic pots. And the greatest one being that the root system um, moisture levels can be um, kept too wet for too long a period of time for certain plants. And we find that in ornamental horticulture, there often is a problem with um, root diseases. And root diseases actually, in most species, wherever they're susceptible, can be prevented by proper uh, watering or proper soil moisture level. And that's the dryness to wetness, the dryness and the change, how quickly that changes. Another container that has been used uh, for a long time in horticulture is the clay pot. And we mentioned that before. And it has advantages. The advantages being that it transpires water very easily or releases moisture very easily. There is a quicker dry down between uh, a totally saturated media and a drier media at the root system, which helps in uh, controlling root diseases. And this is really about air exchange between the soil and the air. And that happens very quickly. Where in a plastic pot, it's not as easy to get a plant dried down quickly. Uh, the disadvantages to the clay pot is that it breaks. And of course, there is a weight issue with clay pots. And this, this is a seven inch clay pot. When you go up to a 12, 14 inch, 16 inch clay pot and you have specimens in that and you're having to move them out in the spring and in in the fall, uh, it can be quite a challenge. So that is one of the disadvantages, but going back to the advantage of having a plant that is struggling under root diseases and then when it's grown in clay, it responds and comes back without having to add for, uh, fungicides or other um, uh, pesticides to try to control it is an advantage. Other pots that we have, and this is commonly used in homes, are the glazed terracottas. This is a um, little uh, begonia that's being trained into a bonsai. It's in a bonsai pot that's glazed. And we have um, some that have actually sauces attached to them. These are glazed. These glazed clay containers are really no different than a plastic container in that they do not um, have the ability to uh, free up moisture quickly. So, you know, there is a disadvantage to that. And of course, they have the same disadvantage in that they can break if you drop them and they have weight to them. But they do have beautiful color to them and there's many styles. There's sometimes they have uh, figures or forms on the outsides of the pots that actually um, give them some beauty inside the home. Another pot that has come into the industry recently is the eco pot. And these pots are made of cellulose. Some of them are bamboo, some of them are rice hulls. And they have the advantage of being um, very stiff, formed, can hold the plant root system very well. They are biodegradable in that they give you about five years of service. Uh, they do have the uh, disadvantage of not being permeable to moisture. So it's really very much the same as if you were growing in a plastic pot where the, so the only drainage you get would be at the bottom of the pot and not out through the sides. But they do have the advantage of being um, eco-friendly and biodegradable. And then lastly, in contemporary pots, we have the fiber pot. And there's several forms of this. This one's actually made out of a woven fiber that's pretty dense. Uh, some are made out of um, much coarser fiber. Uh, there's some strawberry pots that were actually developed for that purpose. It has many advantages, one being that they're very lightweight, except for the soil added to it. They breathe very easily, much like a clay pot, uh, probably even more than a clay pot because there's, whenever water goes in, it just seeps out all through the sides very quickly. This pot actually can be emptied out of its soil and easily stored. So it's not a bad choice. You could move these inside for the winter time if you had plants that were grown in these, but you'd need a very large saucer to collect the moisture. 
or the water that's coming off of them and that would probably be the only disadvantage other than the fact that they really don't have much form to them they kind of wiggle around and they can get um, uh, misshapen a little bit if your if the root system isn't really uh, full and um, developed so thank you today for being with me talking about containers I hope this helps you in making choices for the plants that you're growing our retail store does sell many of these containers if you're interested.